do some coaches stand out and grow their practice while others hardly receive any business? The answer is in their language. When I first started my business nearly 12 years ago, I was still selling coaching and leadership development programs. And one of the assets that I used to easily secure business conversations with decision makers was a statement that included my coaching value and financial ROI payoff for my clients. I called that statement my ROI power statement. And that statement allowed me to quickly scale my business to multiple six figures in a very short period of time. So by now you're probably wondering what goes into that ROI power statement? That power statement will contain a statement of the type of client that you work with, a for example that illustrates the kinds of transformational changes you're able to achieve with that type of client. And finally, a statement that includes the real financial payoff that you were able to achieve with another client that's very similar to the one that you're talking to. Let me give you an example of an ROI power statement that I used to use when I was still selling coaching services. Here it is. We work with ambitious leaders who want to become more effective leaders. For example, an organization had a new leader who had to step in to lead as an intentional role model and inspire a defeated team with a compelling mission and vision. By the end of our work together, the leader improved team utilization rates, which resulted in improved profitability and a 371% financial ROI for the company. Did you notice that there were three parts? The type of client that I work with, for example, the kind of transformation I can help an individual achieve. And finally, the example with the evidence of the real financial payoff for that organization. So now it's time to create your own ROI power statement and I'm going to provide you with the framework. It goes like this. We work with what type of specific industry or type of client situation. Then we excel in describe the type of goal or problem solution that you solve. For instance, we collaborated with a company that, you'll include a similar situation to the person that you're talking with, who had what type of goal or problem, it should be the same as the decision maker you're talking to. The third part is, due to the coaching solution that you provided, they, achieved what positive outcome backed by your ROI metrics. See how easy it is? Once you have this ROI power statement, you can use it in a variety of situations. You can use it when you're networking, even if you're networking with other coaches just like you. Maybe they have access to clients, but they don't deliver the kinds of solutions that you offer. When you can clearly state your ROI power statement, you equip those colleagues to open doors to decision makers who might hire you. Another place you can use it is when you're doing outreach. You're calling potential decision makers within that conversation or a voicemail message that you leave. You'll have parts of your ROI power statement baked into that message or the conversation. The third place you can use your power statement is in an email follow-up. Let's say you leave a voicemail for a potential client. You want to follow up by email. In that email, you'll have a snippet of your ROI power statement. Finally, the last place to use your ROI power statement is when you're having that first discovery call with a brand new client. You'll include your ROI power statement in that discovery conversation at the very start of the conversation to set the context for that conversation that you're going to have with your client. My hope is that by now you have a set of words and a conversation framework you can leverage to secure more appointments and more new business. If you'd like to go deeper, I'll show you how to navigate the data in my brand new quest, The ROI of Coaching. Just click on the link below to see what's inside.